What's good, R&B squad? This is Otto Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If the Lord recently led you to this channel, welcome. We're happy to have you. And Jesus is, of course, always happier. So I have a word. It came from a dream that I had. And how you know that this word is for you, one of the ways that you'll know is that you may have recently said a prayer regarding something similar to this. There may be someone in your life whom you're a little bit suspicious of. Something isn't quite right about that person, but you can't put your finger on it, okay? And for others of you, even if it's not one particular person or a particular group of people, you may just feel as though there are eyes on you that shouldn't be on you, okay? So let me get right into the dream, and then I'm going to let you guys know what the Lord told me. In this dream, there was a man who had a property, now, his property was very beautifully kept, especially the yard. I remember looking at the yard and going, wow, his yard is really nice. It's really nicely kept. He had a neighbor who kept trying to convince him to insert a pathway between his yard and the neighbor's yard, which would more or less make it into an adjoining yard and which would require moving any barricade or wall between the two yards. Now, the man with the lovely yard told him no, but he kept asking. The final time he asked, the man with the lovely yard seemed to be considering it. And as I watched, because I was watching this happening, I hoped he would say no, because I sensed that his neighbor did not have good intentions. Now, after he did some thinking, he said no, and I was relieved, and that was the end of the dream. So for someone, there is someone around you. This person may be presenting themselves as a neighbor would present themselves. A good neighbor. Someone who seems to want what's best for you. Someone who seems to be celebrating your wins with you. Someone who seems to want to see you grow and blossom. Okay? That's how they present. But at the same time, in this person's heart, they are secretly looking at the blessings that the Lord has lined up for you and the promises that the Lord made over your life and they want it for themselves. Even if it makes absolutely no sense for them to have those things, they still want it for themselves because it looks so shiny and glossy to them, okay? And what the Lord particularly highlighted to me is the fact that this neighbor kept trying to get this man to take down the wall, the wall, the very thing that was protecting his property, the very thing that was separating his beautiful yard from the neighbor's yard, okay? The very thing that was preventing this neighbor from just strolling in onto this man's property as he well pleased. And that is what these people or this person is trying to do to you for whoever this is for. They want you to take your walls down. Spiritually, they want you to let your guard down. Mentally, they want you to let down your defenses. So that way, when you trust them or when you think that they don't mean you any harm, then you're not going to be ready when they try to walk in there and take what the Lord has set aside for you specifically. Okay? And for many of you, these people are going to come in looking like they mean well. They're either going to do that to try to get you to trust them, or if it's someone that you don't even know directly, they're going to sit so quietly off to a corner that you're not even going to know that they're looking at you and wanting the blessings that the Lord has for you. Okay? But in the same way that the man in this dream said no to this neighbor who was so insistent on him building a pathway between his yard and the neighbor's yard, you're going to have to say no to some of these people when they come around. Some of them are going to come around pretending that they want to be business partners if you have a business, when in reality, they just want to take your business over altogether. Okay? For others of you, they're going to come in looking as if they support your kingdom marriage promise, when in reality, they just want you man. Or they want your woman. I'm just going to keep it all the way 100, okay? They be telling you, you know what? We should all hang out. Let's go on a double date. 
And for some of you, if you're already dating your person, you may have someone around you who's practically saying this to you right now, that they want to go on a double date with you and your person, when in reality, they're sizing up your person. Okay, now I'm not saying that in every instance, that's going to be the case. That's why you have to test the spirit. Take these people to the Lord. And ask him to reveal to you what their true intentions are. Some people are genuine. But there are some people who just want the promises that the Lord placed over your life. And what's sad about it is, for many of you, you worked hard for what you have. And not just for what you have. The blessings that the Lord is getting ready to give to you. The things that have not even materialized yet. That these people sense are coming for you. You earned it. The Lord sees fit to bless you with it because of your heart. Okay? And he led me to some scripture. Let me just pull it up. He led me to James 4, verses 1 to 3. And that reads, Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war in your members? You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and yet you do not because you do not ask. You ask and you do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. Okay? So there's an even bigger picture here as the Lord led me to understand when I sat with him about this word. There's a bigger picture here. See, that's what's wrong with the world today. That is exactly what is wrong with the world today. People want the blessing and they don't want the blesser. So they're looking at you, a child of God. Someone who completely surrendered to the Lord and allowed him to have his way in your life. You said, Lord, not my will, but yours be done in my life. And you meant it when you said it. And because of that, the Lord is getting ready to bless you with custom made blessings just for you. Okay. There are some people that don't want to surrender anything to the Lord. They don't want to leave anything in his hands. They don't even want to live their lives for him 100%, even if they might be in the church, even if they might claim to be a believer. Okay? They might claim to be in the body of Christ. And then there are those who are not in the body of Christ at all, but yet they have the nerve to look at you. A child of God, somebody who totally surrendered everything you had to the Lord. Your choice of partner, you surrender that to the Lord. And you let the Lord do the picking for you. Now they're sitting over there jealous of the love that the Lord has set up between you and your person. Because they want that for themselves. But they don't want to go through the process. Okay? They're sitting over there mad. Because whatever ministry the Lord put you in, you're shining in that ministry. When in reality, they don't even want to find out what the Lord wants them to do. They're so busy looking at you. That is what is wrong with the world today. I was praying as well about the state of the world. And it all goes back to James 4, 1 to 3. This is the heart of the matter. This is the root cause of the problem. We have all of this crime and violence in this world because too many people want the blessing and not the blesser. They want to go through the back door to obtain certain things. And so they do all kinds of underhanded things to get there, to get to where they think is the ideal place. And that's why the world is the way that it is. So for whoever this is for, do not let your guard down. Do not stop praying. Do not stop asking the Lord to protect your promises, whatever those are. And do not stop testing the spirit. Take people to the Lord. Every single person that comes into your life, take them to the Lord. All right? And he will show you who is for you and who isn't. I hope that this message blessed someone. I love you guys. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.